Thank you guys so much for clicking on another video for me here on YouTube. But this is going to be another kind of strictly laps video, except I think I'm going to call it something like motocross sprint laps. Uh, the main difference being instead of being like a strictly laps where I'm trying to do, you know, a set amount of laps or something like that and sort of pace myself. This is kind of what the pros do when they're when they're practicing. They do sprint laps. They do like three to five really hard as, as fast as they can go laps. Uh, let's be honest, that wasn't my intention, but I ended up being really happy with these laps, and I only did like a three and a half, two and a half, something like that. So I hope you guys will enjoy. I was debating if I wanted to voice this over or not, but I think I will just do the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I was just going back through my GoPro footage, and I was actually comparing times on my GoPro to my buddy Trevor, who I've mentioned a few times this week, but he sent me video from his actual race on Sunday, so I was kind of comparing our lap times just for fun. And uh, I watched these laps, and I was like, Holy shit, I must have totally missed these laps. These are so much faster than uh, the other ones I put up. At least it, it looked like that to me. I didn't time both of them back to back, or at all. I mean, not even back to back, but I didn't time the other ones. But just watching these ones, I felt like they were ridiculously faster. So uh, this is the B and A practice, the pro and intermediate practice. So uh, rather than the C practice, if you guys happen to watch that video, I say woo right there as I get roosted pretty hard. This was probably the most prime the track was on the Saturday practice day. It had some nice ruts. It wasn't too dried out, wasn't too wet. It was, uh, I'm making the okay sign with my hand. You can't see it right now, but it was primo conditions. Again, slow in this section, but uh, still kind of hitting it faster than I had been in the other video. Kind of holding that inside line a bit more, not drifting out as wide. Trying to catch this inside here, a lot of people were pushing really far outside and you could make some easy passes there. And yes, I know it was just a practice day. It wasn't a race, so take that with a grain of salt. But if you hug that inside, it was kind of hard on that corner, but you can make some nice passes. This section, the outside was way faster. Ryland Munson in front of me there. Holy shit, did you see him hit that corner? That was like Mach 5. What a rail there on there. The outside was a lot faster, but if people took the inside, they could uh, punch you off pretty easily. So you had to really hold your ground there. Uh, that jump before the finish line, I was really working on standing up before instead of sitting down and throwing a whip, which, you know, pops you really high and isn't very fast. I was trying to stand up and do what they call minimize or soak it up, where you just kind of soak the bike up into your body, stay nice and low. That part of the track I talked about in another video, you could see Ryland and I hit that inside line, which is where the track ended up going on race day. Uh, the guy in front of us went to the far outside which is kind of how the track looked like it was supposed to go in the morning and then it changed throughout the day. So uh, not really a fair line there. His line is way longer. I actually might hit it in one of these laps. Keep an eye out for that. I don't remember. Again, though, track was awesome. Not, not too rutted through there. I think the river ran before this practice day and uh, caused a lot of sand to be deposited on, the, on that bottom creek area of the track. So, you know, sand isn't going to rut up. It's just too loose. It, it got some, like, lines, but I wouldn't call them ruts. That triple step down, so much fun. Kind of bounced off that, didn't completely clear it all the way. This left-hander in the ruts. Whew. See ya. In and out. I'll make a nice move here. Rylan kind of... Oh, I actually go around him. He looks over at me. I'm not sure if he let me by or not, but I think he continued to chase me down until I eventually pulled off. Um, to be honest, if it were a race, he probably would have outlasted me and ended up uh, passing me back. But he did look over at me. Maybe he just wanted to let me go by so we didn't hit each other over that or something. But I was pretty happy with that pass on the outside of him. Again, that section, I actually grabbed that rut real nice. It was kind of a, it wasn't a very deep rut and it kind of had some chop through it. So it was really tricky to actually lock into it and rail it all the way around, all the, way around the corner. In front of me here is Lindsay Palmer, a really, really super fast uh, female rider. Uh, she's been featured, I think, I don't want to say for sure trans world, but she was in a magazine, had her own feature and stuff. Um, super badass. She's super awesome and she just let me go there. Um, I was trying to run her down either earlier or later in the day and couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, she just let me go there. As I overjumped the finish line, grabbed that left hander and silky smooth. So this is the time I think I go far outside. So you can see the difference. Yeah, how much harder I had to cut out to the right and then how much sharper that corner was. Uh, definitely a disadvantage to go on the outside, but like I said, I don't believe that was actually part of the track. It was the, in the morning the track went one way, then people started to take a different line, and so there were like two completely opposite lines. They weren't really made for the same corner, even though it kind of looks like they could be. Um, absolutely not, in, at least in my opinion. But just, uh, I believe this is the last lap finishing up here. And again, I felt like I was sprinting super fast, hucking the triple, which not a lot of people were doing this day, actually. Uh, you saw in my C practice, I hit it a few times. My other pro and intermediate practice actually didn't hit it at all. And then this is the only time I huck it 
this session. But uh, it was kind of interesting. I'm not sure why people weren't doing it. I was having trouble with it, um, having to seat bounce it pretty hard, get that front end up, and then brake tap to try and get all the way over it. I'm not sure if other people were kind of having the same woes out of the corner. We just couldn't get the drive or what. But that's just how it goes sometimes. If you can't hit a jump, then, you know, keep it low and just do the double part of it. Trying to stay on this inside here, hit that little roller, stay nice and low over it. Hold this inside, not drift out too wide. That was a pretty good one. A lot of times I was drifting out into those uh, hay bales. This section was tricky because it had that drop away and then you went straight again. So you kind of had to hit that drop away a little bit faster than usual because you didn't have to turn right away after it. So let's see here, see if I hit this outside and uh, rail around it. Nope, I go on the inside. Kind of an interesting line choice for me there. Um, yeah, pre pretty slow. The outside would have been a better, better deal. Unless someone was right on me where I was trying to protect the inside, that was kind of an interesting line choice. So there I kind of sit down, throw the whip over it. I think I, uh, I think I was just happy with that lap. I don't know, but through the, through the lip, through the, through the lip, I can't even talk. Through the whip to the left, through the whip to the right, over the finish line there. And then I do believe that this is just where I say, okay. I'm tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I thought these laps were some of my best. These were my best laps of the day, hands down. I don't know what the stopwatch would say compared to my other laps, but I was really happy with these ones watching back. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, pretty much here, I'm just circling back around because my dad was trying to get some footage for me. So then I just started hitting this uh, sand corner a few times so you could get some sweet shots of me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Until next time, as always, take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. And I'll talk to you guys later. If you like this video, I highly recommend you clicking on subscribe for more or scrolling down and clicking subscribe. I do lots of real life riding dirt bike videos both at Aztec and other tracks around Colorado and plan to do more as the summer goes on. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on another video.